everyone, welcome to my channel. This is your mom, Chimos. Without my baby, he's busy actually. So, kaya ano nang natin siya doon. Well, anyway, this is my first ever buy or buy segment. And I am going to review a Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte Plus Coreless. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. I've reviewed this once with a Korean foundation, yung Boost Kid. If you haven't watched it, I'll just put the link in the description box below. You might, you guys might wanna check it out. But for today, um, gagawa po ako ng full review, as in full, from the packaging and even wear test ko po siya. First time ko po itong gagawin. So, without further ado, let's hop into it. Okay, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. I bought this in Trinoma for 399 pesos. And ang shade ko po is 222 True Beige. Oh my gosh, umiiyak si baby. Nauntog po siya. Naglaro sila ng tatay niya din. Nauntog siya. Well, anyway. This is the container. Ayan. Glass po siya. So, pag nabasag niyo to, may ten... Eh, no. Pag nalaglag nyo, may tendency po siyang mabasag. And when you open it, ayan, wala siyang stopper or pump man lang. So, pag nag apply kayo, then nasabi nyo siya bigla na hindi nyo tinatakpan, matatakon po siya. And, pag naglagay kayo sa kamay nyo, may tendency masobra. So, mobra yung or maguhos nyo siya masayang. So, kung meron kayong empty bottle na may pump, pwede siyang i-transfer doon. Or, kung meron kayong mixing plate, pwede rin doon. So, before we start with the application, uh, basahin muna natin yung ni-research ko. Yes, nag-research ako kung ano yung kiniklaim ni Fit Me. Ang sabi, um, this lightweight foundation mattifies and refines pores and leaves a natural seamless finish. So, tignan natin kung totoo yun, di ba? I have oily skin and visible pores. Nung nireview ko to, together with the Korean product, I wore it for like 2 hours lang. Okay naman siya. Nag-matte naman. Pero ngayon, first time ko pong mag-wear test ng product. So, let's proceed with the application. Yeah, I already have moisturizer on my skin and sunscreen, of course. And now, I'll be using a face finity primer. My one and only primer. primer on my face. I'll be using a sponge on this side and a stippling brush on this side. Liquid is sharp, pero it's not running. Ang dami ko yata ang nabuhos. So let's start! using this tipping brush. Diba? Ang ganda niya, no? So, yan yung stippling brush. Medyo natakpan naman yung mga dapat takpan. Although, may nakikita pa ako ditong dark spot na hindi niyo masyadong natakpan. Now, on this side, I'll be using this Dump Beauty Blender. bango kakakakalaba ko lang kasi nito parang it feels light on the skin madali lang siyang i-blend using the the blender pero parang mas bet yung stippling brush parang mas maganda yung stippling brush no parang nag, mas nag-even out using the stippling brush I'll try to put na more Ayan. Yan yung second layer. Pero mas bet ko talaga yung stippling brush. Ang ginis niyo. Kesa dito sa ginamitan ng blender. Kapit yung ginis niyo na amaze ako. Ayan. Mas gusto ko yung 
yung result ng ginamita ng stippling brush kasi parang perfect ko. Oh. Wow, what's that? Pero hindi niya na-cover yung mga may mga hindi siya na-cover ng mga dark spots ko. Siguro if you have flawless skin, ma-achieve niyo full coverage. So for me, medium coverage lang talaga siya. Siguro I'm gonna spot concealer na lang yung mga dapat takpan, especially in dark circles. Go oh, under my eyes. Okay, so I will just finish the rest of my makeup and I will see you again later. ang claim ni Fit Me. Lalabas po kami ngayon. We're going to Moa to meet my friends from Saudi. Mga nurses po sila dun sa dati kong pinag-workan. So, finally, makikita ko na ulit sila and ihati din namin sila sa airport kasi pabalik ko sila. Ito po yung itsura niya sa natural lighting. Hi! Ayan. Hi! Ayan, medyo dewy. Hi! Hindi niya talaga naka-cover yung pores ko. Ayan na naman si Kulit. Hi! 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 looks like uh, for the first time hindi po ako talaga nag-retouch I didn't put a powder or hindi rin ako nag-blot man lang kasi wala kasi hindi ako nag-retouch ha and na-amaze ako kasi hindi ako masyadong nag-oil up and I like the way I look actually to be honest so let's start with the pros I like it kasi matte talaga siya. Nag-oil up ako but not too much. Hindi ako nag-blot. Ayan lang siya. Medyo dewy lang ang effect niya. And it did even out my skin tone. Kailangan lang mag- lagay ng concealer sa mga dark spots. Yung scars. Yung acne scars. And yung sa dark under eyes ko. Yung gusto ko rin siya kasi meron siyang ano, wide selection of shades. Lalo na sa mga morena na katulad ko, marami siyang shade na marami kayong pagpipilihan. Sa cons, ayoko lang ng packaging kasi nga, nasa glass nga siya. Mag, pag nabitawan mo, may tendency mabasag. Kapag nabangga mo, mag, matatapon. And sana nakalagay lang siya dun sa tube or sa lalagyan na may pump or sa tube na pwede mo na lang squeeze para hindi nga masayang kasi marami nga sayang eh. Kapag nilagay mo siya dun sa sa kamay mo. What? Para 
sa akin medium coverage lang siya. Kasi hindi naman niya natakpan yung pores ko. Well, it refines my pores pero hindi niya natakpan. Siguro, dun sa mga nakikina sa mukha, yung unlike me na hindi naman perfect yung 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 skin ko, siguro ma-achieve nila yung full coverage. Pero for me, yung sa mga katulad ko na no oily, tapos meron mga scars, mga blemishes, or yung mga dark spots, hindi talaga nyo ma-achieve yung uh, full coverage. It's not that long lasting kasi nag-oil up pa rin ako. Eh. Although I like the result kasi medyo dewy lang yung effect. Hindi siya ganung matte na matte. Siguro advice ko na lang lalo na sa mga oily skin na katulad ko na we have to prep our skin with mattifying primer and then set it with mattifying powder. Sa mga dry skin naman, don't forget to moisturize talaga. Moisturize lang and do not put too much foundation sa mukha nyo para maiwasan yung uh, pagkikakey niya. So to answer the question whether to buy it or bye-bye. Well, for me, this product is really amazing for its price. So definitely, I would say bye. So that's it for today's video, guys. And I hope you like it. And please do not forget to subscribe if you still haven't. Okay, see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.